Hey, what's happening everybody? Rod J back again. I am so ready for a beer. Taking a look at one tonight from Mad Tree Brewing here in Cincinnati, Ohio. This is the Lyft. So this is one of our local beers. This comes in at 4.7 ABV. And it is a Kolsch style ale, which are always kind of nice because they're usually a nice refreshing variation of beer that you can kick back and enjoy, especially after a long day of work. The IBU on this one is actually at 11. So let's go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass. And then there's the uh, Mad Tree logo that you see there. The lift, not really too much more really on the can. It does note on here a little bit of how they write up about the beer that you can see there as well. But I'm going to go ahead and get this baby in a glass because I am ready to drink. It's been a long day, long day. All right, so there we go. Got into the glass here. As you can see, a nice head on there. Nice straw color on the body. Get a light behind it. You definitely get to see a lot of the carbonation taking place as it goes up to a nice billowy white head. Get a little closer here. See if you can pick up. I think you can see a little bit of that bubble stream in action taking place. I believe so. Uh, a little bit of a chill haze on there as well. But I do like the nice uh, color. And I'm already picking up notes of the aroma coming out of the glass. You're getting a little bit of that kind of uh, breadiness coming out. You're getting those malts up front. It's got a little bit of that what I call barnyard type aroma. In the past, I would say something like a horse blanket. With a nice sweetness to the malts. You definitely get the sense that you can actually drink this and probably chug it out if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that because I need to take a picture for the... Uh, the shot as well, but it definitely has that presence with it and a nice clean feel to it. Let's get the taste. Yeah, very easily chuggable beer. You get that nice malty sweetness in the mouth. Very smooth. Goes down rather easily. You get left with a little bit of a uh, taste from the malts that were consumed here. Not really dealing with anything as far as a bitterness. So for someone that's looking to find a beer that might be craft beer and not have that bittering type feel with that refreshing quality, Kolsch is a good style to go to and Mantry does a good job with that one here. Now on the swig that time, as I took in the flavors on the nose, I did find a little bit in the back end of a little bit of like a pininess with the hops as well. So you do get a little bit of faintness there uh, that does come through. But I like that feel in the mouth. It's got a nice little mouth coating. The flavor does get around nicely. Carbonation sits well. Very light to medium body beer. Nice refreshing thing. I want to sit back with my feet up and really enjoy this one. So this one is one to definitely kick back and enjoy. Sit back and relax after a long day work. Kolsch is a nice style, as I mentioned, to really go to. If you happen to see this one from Mad Tree, not bad to pick up at all. Got a little bit of a carbonation kicking up in the chest. Very nice. Also, I was sniffing a little bit there. There's kind of a faint smell with the hops. Kind of like a weak kind of pineapple type smell in there too. So a little bit of a, a slight bit of maybe like a citrus type hit. But definitely a nice one to check out. Uh, Mad Tree and their Lift. I'll go ahead and put my ratings down below, but definitely one that makes the day uh, seem like it was uh, a little bit more doable as you drink this baby down. As you can see, easily down here, so I don't want to drink any more, so I can take my picture here in a second. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. If you happen to see this one out there, pick it up and uh, let me know what you think about it. If you've had it before, put some comments in the comment section let me know. I know i got some people here from around the Cincinnati area who have probably enjoyed this one, so... Uh, let me get some feedback for what you guys think. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And I look forward to catching you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.